When a gang leader confronted Tyson, I'm assuming it's Mike Tyson. Let's check it out. That's crazy. I know. Right, I don't want to fight. They see, they see me this he might school. want to. I don't know. They sent me this on IG as well. All right, let's see, bro. Let's see. I'm gonna. This gonna be a fight, Tyson, and you know it. You hit me, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Welcome back to the Big Fight Recap. You're on the LTV Classic. He pulled his glasses off. Did you see his eye? <laughs> his eye was just hanging out his head. On today's video, we revisit the infamous two fight saga between oh Mike Tyson God, and Mitch to see Mike Tyson. Green. A genuine beef that, that 10 rounds of boxing couldn't squash, as the two would face off one more time on the street, this time uh, in a much shorter affair with the decisive victory. Oh Let's get right to it. <laughs> After Tyson's 10 round decision to James Quick Tillis in 1986, the invincibility aura from Kid Dynamite took a slight knock as the two heavyweights battled out a much closer fight than the boxing fans and bookmakers expected. How disappointed are you that the knockout string is over? Not at all. If anything, I got, you know, I feel relieved and I'm confident if I wanted to, I couldn't have knocked them out. It was Tyson's first time going the distance as he had finished oh, tackling his 19 oh, opponents all He's inside the opening two or three rounds. That gave some of the other heavyweight contenders an incentive to catch this teenage dynamo early, halt the hype train, and earn the highest possible payday outside of a championship fight. Tyson said, give me a fight, I want Mike Tyson. Point blank. Michelle Tyson, he's a I'm going to knock him out. Mitch Blood Green was one of the first fighters to utilize the new age of digital camcorders to get his message out there to boxing fans. I'm going to show you something. Feast your eyes. He said, feast your eyes. There was no social media in those days, but local news stations and televised sports networks such as HBO would air the clips during a broadcast to gauge the fans' reaction. <laughs> this is Logan Paul. I mean, yeah, I'm going to go out. They want a gang leader. They say he's a gang leader. Probably due to all I the knew he was gonna get time, knocked out. But I can honestly say I have difficulty understanding what Mitch Green is saying. To clear things with a muscle flexing and homophobic slurs, and bizarrely enough, as far as my research suggests, this was enough to land him a shot at the hottest prospect in world boxing. It's crazy. Iron Mike. Growing up on the tough streets of Detroit, Mitch Green was a prominent player in 1970s New York game warfare. By the age of 17, he had witnessed his father lose his life in a bizarre western-style quick-draw shootout, not long before being shot twice himself, fortunately escaping with non-fatal hey, injuries. Green tried to escape <laughs> gang life by joining the NBA boxing gym in New York. But by this time, his ties to the street were too pronounced, as he was now hailed the king of New York street gangs by the NYPD for his role as gang leader in the Deadly Bloods crew. Things slowly started to change for Mitch as his reputation as a gang leader was exceeded by that of a talented amateur boxer, the muscular six foot five big man that was racking up copious tournaments. Hey, hold on, ain't this like the same story on, on Power? The dude was like with the the Tommy one. The dude was a boxer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't really watching. Like, yeah, horrible, bro. Yeah. No, I didn't, I didn't. He watched the show. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't know. Watch that. Oh. Success, including several New York Golden Gloves. From the Bronx, New York, undefeated in five professional bouts with one draw. Green took to the professional mm -hmm. ring in 1980. Yeah, he quickly started racking up wins over journeymen oh. contenders such as Jumbo. Hey, he is. He's whooping their ass. Champion in waiting, Trevor Burbank became the first man to the ring in 1985 where Mitch made a good account of himself, only losing by majority decision. Both Tyson and Green were on the fringe of a world title shot, so regardless of the antics, the two were on a likely collision course. The trash talk from Green just helped build more interest in the fight, which in turn certainly struck a chord with Tyson, who openly admitted to hating that ugly mother effort. <laughs> and Mike Tyson traditionally no robes, no socks. He says it makes him feel like a warrior. Makes him feel like a gladiator. Tyson coming in with no jacket? For the first time in May 1986 at Madison Square Garden. It was Tyson's first Tyson, match at a prestigious oh, boxing why he game, and also in the, the first to be covered man. by a large he, television. He, 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 he changed the tradition of no robe, no socks attire. Black shorts. He was all business and had a personal How tall is Tyson? Set, but now, oh, not so confident. What? Yeah. It's not, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. So much a factor in the last fight oh, that he didn't double up. 
He just was a little bit lazy, especially in the later round. So we'll see what he does about that against okay. Mitch Green. Always aggressive. Gang leader. Tyson playing. He is catching Tyson. Oh, yeah. Tyson Lando. Okay. You won two, I'm one, two, two. Everyone hasn't played it until they get their mouth guard punched out of the ring in the first round. While Green had all the physical advantages, Tyson's supreme boxing skills and speed negated the gap in size and weight, backing up Green from the opening bell, slipping and countering, forcing the much bigger man to his rival. Oh, oh, he's a freaking bulldog. Oh, what a shot. That is awesome. Tyson punched out Green's mouth guard again in third. Where he starts blocking his opponent. Oh, wow. Hey, that's what Steve Harvey said, man. Because I was swelling up. Oh, he's black. Yeah. I do see his eyes. Look at this man. Oh, he's smiling. He kept going, though. I give him props, man. The fight became so routine by the closing stages, the crowd knew they were witnessing a foregone conclusion. Tyson himself appeared to have his mind elsewhere, as he bizarrely kissed his trainer, Kevin Rudy, <laughs> while he was trying to deliver him intricate oh. strategies and details regarding the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Rooney is in there and just jabbering away 100 miles a minute. Mike Tyson leaned over and just kissed him. Tyson closed the show, trying to score the knockout. I'm not fighting nobody with a goal, too. Yeah, well, hell yeah. He allowed him to grab and clinch his way to safety. Oh, my God. Who is that? Look at his face. His face is a few more. Look at Brandon's fan. But we knew deep inside that I was going to win this fight so easy because of his style. He's a game tough opponent, and he took some fairly decent shots. But as you know, I won comfortably, and I didn't try for the knockout, and I used a great deal of discipline in there, not knocking him out. Tyson claimed he carried Green the 10 round distance on purpose to punish him That's for as bad. long as possible. He he and whether it was true or not, the Green's personal no. pride was hurt, and he was willing to do whatever it oh took to restore God. a sliver of respect amongst his Hey, I give him respect, though. He's Green retired from boxing after yeah. the Tyson loss and returned to the street to earn a living from selling drugs. He always yeah, planned to one day get Tyson back in the ring, but as his years of inactivity ensued, Tyson progressed to one of the most dominant heavyweight champions of all time, yeah, that's, undefeated that's and undisputed. That's why I said the days of fighting anymore. lingering contenders such as Mitch Green were over. It wasn't until a couple of years after their fight that the two would meet again, this time in Green's element, the street. In the early hours of August 23rd, 1988, no, Mitch Green man. got wind that Tyson was shopping at a local clothing store close by to where he ran things on the street. Nick's Tyson had traveled Michael a fair Brand. distance to pick up a luxury leather jacket handmade by one of his friends over at Dapper Dan's. As Tyson was chilling in the store with his entourage, Mitch Green burst through the door on his own, high on angel dust, demanding Tyson either give him a rematch or empty his pockets right there on the spot. <laughs> Tyson, of course, no stranger to altercations on the street, dragged Mitch Green outside and pummeled him to the ground multiple times. Spectators said that the fight was short, violent, and very one-sided. In fact, it was no longer than 15 to 20 seconds, but that's more than long enough for the heavyweight champion to inflict severe damage. There is no footage of the fight, regardless of the clickbait you see on YouTube, but there were many accounts of what happened that all aligned, all except Green's account, where he claimed Tyson sucker punched him and ran. Well, how you want to him first punch here? He did. He sucker punched me, cause he's with his friends, you know. And now, um, when he hit me, and I said I couldn't even hey, try to get to him like I wanted, cause everybody was like, put me, you know, holding me, like, cause he was getting away. He looked like, away. Away. He he was like, away. He he like the Martin episode for me. Mm -hmm. Green was certain the Tyson scuffle, which became mainstream news around the world, would add enough public intrigue to get his rival back in the ring. But Mitch had already burnt his bridges among the promoters in the sport, with his violent <laughs> threats to Don King in the past already shadow banned him. Bro, hey, man, what King. you did, bro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, After yeah, Green's failed attempt to get a rematch with Tyson, yeah, he filed a civil lawsuit for $20 million due to the injuries he suffered during their fight. The former gang leader came away with one small W to coincide with a long list of L's, winning the case and being awarded $45,000, close to what his purse was during their professional fight in 1986. Yeah, I remember seeing Mitch Green's eye after that. It was like, he broke his socket. Broke the eye socket, yeah. He broke his eye socket. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Right, so Mike Tyson, gosh. boy. You gotta hit really hard, juice like that. Right? Yeah. Like, oh Green returned God. to the ring seven years later, but at that point, he was a shell of his former self and was beaten by journeyman with losing records until he hung him up for good in 2005. <laughs> As of 2022, <laughs> Green is still a large hey, character, but now employs his Damn, energy into his love of Green. As of 2022, Green is still a large life character, but he's now employs his energy into his love of Christianity. He still has a gripe with Tyson, but I think it's fair to say the two have now moved on, and whenever the topic is brought up today, Day, they both make light of their better. infamous 30 year feud. Oh, he got his eye back. Boys, boys get it dim. They do the street fight, the boys get it dim. But oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't y'all have a street fight, man? I went for, for the ring for the street. Thinking the man would do somebody, he wouldn't do nothing. Oh, man, he freaked me out. Did you know that yeah, actually Tyson and Sal are good friends and he comes to the show? He did hook the They know he's not. Tyson. You see that? <laughs> 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 hey, bro, that's funny, bro. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Nah, no, I swear to God, man. That's like that's why I can like, in, That's like getting in the cage with a line. What? Right now? No, boy, he just put an eye socket out. He got out. old man strength. He just beat somebody up on a plane. Muscle memory. Oh, oh, yeah, he man. beat that dude up. Somebody was asking for him. He said he was like touching him. What like, on a plane? Was a video, he's like harassing him. Yeah, Mike was, was just like there. chilling. Dude was just like harassing him. But why crazy. is he like? You think he had his own plane or something? That's <laughs> a lot of money. You know how much Mike Heist has abandoned mansions, bro. No. He should be up. No. So y'all don't think he should them. be flying on the regular flight? He, could he should at least be in first class. I don't class. want to, don't want to so, be on the jet by myself. He's be in first class. <laughs> hey, now this was crazy, though. Like, what the hell? He came from That's a selling great story. drugs That's a great story. <laughs> to in the ring with Mike I Tyson? Like I just went to school. By just Joseph? <laughs> I was just educated. He was 19 and 6. Hey, he man. He was solid. Man. That's, That's a solid day. Hey, hey, You do boxing? Nah, I do it in May before I do the boxing. I can't do nothing yet, bro. That's crazy. Dang, so you... Well, I mean, it is more to your strengths. You was a wrestler. Mm -hmm. Man, what was the guy's name again? What did they say? Who? The, uh, the guy Mike Tyson beat up. Green. Mitch Green. Mitch Green. Mitch Green. <laughs> Mitch Money Green. making Mitch. All right, bro. That's funny, bro. Yeah, Dude, trying to get 20 minutes. Send us more bro. videos, y'all. went man. out so sad with 45 Yeah, that's days. bad, bro. That's, that's so bad. bad. He said, man, Mike Tyson don't want to see But that fight he found God. He found God at the end. Yes. Hey, it's a, probably, it's a beautiful story. He man. didn't get paid yeah. for the fight? He got 45000 off soon. Man, though. I'm he talking about the fight. fight he too. might he got paid for the fight. And he did not come out, so he should have got some bread. Yeah, he probably got a little something. A little something? They did a round and two. I think that was before Mike Tyson that was, like, super big. They said before he was Is that PS5? Oh, that's what I was I thought that was a TV. All right, guys, send him more videos.